Hi, Noah. Hi, Noah. <laughs> Alexander and Catherine. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> I hear you have a bunch of uh, a bunch of Christmas decorations behind you right now, and I oh, like your vibe. Oh, we do. Oh, we're in the holiday spirit around here. Right on, man. <laughs> do you have any reindeers? Any reindeers there? Well, we don't have those yet. You know, we, right. we need to invent those. Uh, team, team. You know? <laughs> you know, I just put up my very first Christmas tree. Very first Christmas really? tree. You're Canadian. You just put up. I know. First... No, ever a... in my life, because I just bought a house. Because I've been yeah. traveling every Christmas, uh -huh. and it fell. It fell yesterday. Literally, completely fell. Was it okay. a real tree? Yes. Oh. It fell. It, it fell. It completely oh, shattered. Oh no. It's like the Grinch came I in know, your house. I know. What? I know. I know. I <laughs> know. I think I got the wrong base for it. I felt. I felt like I got a like the base uh -oh. was too small, so I got to get a bigger one. But I guess we could, you know, now say Happy Holidays. You know, the Thanksgiving's over. We gained at least a couple of pounds, but we're trying to lose the weight. I'm just kidding. No. Yeah. No. I'm damn right. I feel you. I I, you know? I ate so much food over the, over Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was so good being with family, but it was short, but it was quick, you know. But now we got Christmas to look forward to, you know. Oh so yeah. Christmas. Yes. Exciting. All right, guys. Well, let's go ahead and get started. So Vikings has continued to keep making fans proud with new episodes. Of course, season six will be the final season of this great show. So first off, how does it mean to you both as actors to have had part in this series, bringing the characters to life and having fans crave for more from you all? Alexander, let's start off with you and Catherine. You can weigh in after Alex. Um. I mean, it's, it's truly remarkable. I mean, there really is no other word to describe that, that kind of feeling. I mean, I uh, we were talking about this the other day, like or or earlier today. It just mm -hmm. you know, signing on to the show, I knew it was a great show because I'd already seen the first season, and and, and I, I thought it was such an amazing world to be a part of. But never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined uh, that it would have this kind of you know global recognition, and in the in the strangest of places. I mean. You know, mm -hmm. I, I in, in, like all over the world, there's places I just can't walk down. The, I mean, uh, in Uruguay, I can't walk down the street. It's like it's so wow. funny. Wow. How, Strangest places. It's so nice to see that a like a show like this, how it's how it's transcended borders and and mm -hmm. and people in 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 the strangest places have have really taken a liking to this as well as at home. So, uh, it really has been the greatest uh, experience of my professional life. For sure, and I, I'm just gonna add to that. Like I've traveled in the last year, year and a half, to remote places in India yeah. and Philippines, and some of these people that don't even can, don't even have a television in their in their house because they're, you know, it's really expensive for them. But they, everybody has an iPhone, and yeah. they're watching Vikings in these tiny little villages in Philippines and in India. Yeah. They're, they're crazy fanatic fans. Um, and are watching Vikings all the time, so it's it's unbelievable just to see their response <laughs> on a worldwide scale. Just to see how far this show actually reaches across the world, and different you know, cultures. Uh, yes. Yeah, in, in different cultures. And what's been the best fan experience for you both? You know, because like Alexander, you were saying, you know, you can't walk down the street without you know people noticing you and coming up to you. Like, what has been the best fan experience yeah. for you both? I think when like you know. I mean, I just think when you see how much, I mean, for me, it's always when I meet kids. I mean, for me, mm -hmm. always, because I remember when I was a kid and it, it uh, you know, and I, and I met somebody that I looked up to, whether it was a hockey player or, or anything, I've never forgotten yeah. that experience. So for me, I think whenever I, I, I meet a young, uh, a young kid who, who, who has watched the show, not that this is a show for kids, but, but right. you know, if he, it certainly isn't, but, you know, yeah. I, I just yeah. think, I, I think just seeing the way when they look at you in, in that kind of a light is, is just, uh, is an incredible feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. to, and, and just to know that you've had that kind of an impact on people is amazing. And then, of course, you know, people that we look up to in the industry that have seen the show, mm -hmm. I, um, you know, the people who have seen it seem to have really taken a liking to it. Um, so yeah. that's unbelievable. I mean, uh, some pretty big, you know, directors or people that I that I've really admired um, mm -hmm. that you know say you know that I hear have watched the show and have enjoyed it or tell me personally. I mean, that's that's uh, an incredible sure. incredible experience. Uh, um, so yeah. Yeah, I had an interesting experience. I was recently in Argentina um, oh. and didn't even 
think of really going there. I went there for a friend's birthday, and I had uh -huh. no idea how Vikings, they must air it, like, literally 24-7, because they, it was uh -huh. insane. It was, like, incredible. Yeah. I had no choice but to have to get bodyguards, even though I think I can defend myself. Well, but, yeah. <laughs> but what's interesting is, is when I dug a little deeper into it, that there's an actual feminist movement that's happening in, in that country in terms of women are really putting their foot down to try to get equal pay. They're trying to legalize abortion. They're trying to um, really have a stronger voice in in the country. And they really have taken towards Lagrotha as a role model and once I've dived in and started talking to some of these girls and how Lagrotha is seen as an inspiration it was pretty mind blowing and, and pretty amazing to see the effect. That's on my bucket list to travel the world and visit all these different type of countries and see how people live day to day. Isn't that just great just to go and experience and see how other people live outside of the U.S.? The just, best way to learn yeah, about yourself. Yeah, dude, that's yourself. the dream, man. It's like, that's, yes. Yeah, that's the, the greatest education yeah. is, is traveling. I mean, that's why I love our jobs so much is we get to go to mm -hmm. really remote and different places around the world and, and, and do what we love. You know, it's, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. All right, guys. Well, let's now kind of talk about Season 6. So share with us where uh, we will pick up at in Season 6 and what will be some of the things that audiences should really look out for in the return of a new season this holiday season. I love this coming back on the holidays. Yes. Oh, it's perfect, yeah, you know, a perfect gift from all the uh, cast and crew of, for of Vikings. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. I mean, you can expect, uh, uh, look, the this show is known for killing its darlings, uh, so so this yeah. you, you can certainly expect There's to see more be of that. Some deaths. Yeah, and oh. it's um okay. and it's you know Bjorn, it, it's you know his character in specific is is really trying to figure out um, how to be a leader of his people and and that there's a lot of trials and tribulations that come with that. Uh, meanwhile, I'll um, let you speak yeah, to Lagertha is in yeah. a different place in her life. She feels like she's done everything, and she's trying to go back to her roots, where she was mm -hmm. most happy, and living a simple life, going back to being a farmer. Um, of course, that doesn't really last long. <laughs> no way, Michael Hurst is always some kind of drama, or uh -huh. some other battle to to <laughs> still fight. Um, but I think I'm most excited about this year. I actually got a chance to get behind the camera. So, yes. yeah, I got a chance to direct. My directorial debut is this year, and I got a chance to direct this amazing talent. Uh, That's huge. incredible. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank Where's you. the confetti? We need the red, confetti. red I know, right? and white Christmas <laughs> confetti. I mean, and yeah. just as a caveat, uh -huh. she was incredible and, and one of the most amazing people I've ever I've ever been able to work with uh, as a director. Uh, and it was also one of my most oh. intense episodes. So it was definitely it was an intense yeah. episode for you, and you killed it. You Thanks. killed it. I can't wait Aww. for you guys to see it. Look at you two spreading love. <laughs> I love it. When well, Catherine, like you were saying, you know, directorial debut in one of the episodes uh, this season on Vikings. Now, how was that experience like for you? I must ask. You know, what did you learn and enjoy from directing an episode of the series? Honestly, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done. Really. <laughs> You're you oh, no. definitely, but oh. also the most rewarding. Yeah. Just in terms of you have no choice, but you have to make your days. You need to be able to work with the crew to sometimes um, really help direct. At one uh. point, I think at one point I had over 600 people. Remember, like your big wow. thing. We had the extras and all, like uh. right when you're. Yeah. I can't tell yeah. you the spoilers, yeah. Yeah. but um, <laughs> it was definitely a huge challenge. And but I had the, such great support from the crew and and from the cast that came in on their days off and even helped rehearse so so things went s hopefully smoothly on the day and it, and they did so i'm very proud of the episode 608 is is the episode that i directed i'm proud of you Catherine. big Thanks. big big congrats again Thank big you. big big congrats yeah <laughs> i'm just going to say it over and over again yeah, that's <laughs> You're you know, so jolly, you know, man. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm I'm going to be the next. When I get old, I'm going to be Santa. I, I, I feel like you already are. I know. <laughs> I don't know what you look like, but you sound good. <laughs> look, I, I will tag you guys on socials, and then you'll get to see our beautiful Christmas, beautiful Christmassy background. I, I'll tell you, I told Kara, you know, I have the whole blazer on. You know, we're like, yeah, we're like all decked out today. You know, it, it's it, our though. first show coming back from Thanksgiving. Ah. So, and you guys are our first interview coming back from Thanksgiving. Oh, well, I'm so sorry you couldn't have had I'm somebody thankful. better. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh no, oh please. You know, you guys, this week is like busy, busy for me. Like we have, I think, Trisha Yearwood coming up today. Yeah, we got 
I think someone from Project Runway this week. Oh, yeah, it's like a busy, busy week. Busy. But, I mean, look, you know, the, of course this is what I do. But I'm happy to have you, too, oh, as my, uh, so happy to my be first here. guest back. Yeah, mm -hmm. I won't forget it. I'll remember it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, my last question for you. How do you really hope the fans will remember your characters following the last season of Vikings? Ooh, how would I hope Ooh. they remember? Uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> what wow. I love about what we do is, is essentially, it's not about espousing moral judgment. It's just about giving people a different perspective on everything. Uh -huh. And I think one thing that Vikings did, which I which I really am grateful to have been a part of, is I, I think in a lot of ways it reinvigorated people's interest in a culture that otherwise had fallen to the wayside to an extent, or at least given people a chance to look at it from another perspective. You know, for so long, Vikings were seen as these demons from the north that came in and raped and pillaged everything, you know, and and don't get me wrong, that did happen, and it was awful, but it, it's very interesting to, 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 to get a chance to, to live in that culture and in that world and, and see that these, are, these two are people um, who had their own cultures. And, um, uh, I mean, that's the best part about what we do is, is mm -hmm. just getting to not judge our characters but to, to, to live and embody them and, and get to experience a part of uh, a really fascinating part of, uh, of history. You know. yeah. And my biggest takeaway, and I hope other people, uh, the takeaway for them after watching Vikings for six seasons is that, especially with all the little girls out there that feel that they can't, you know, be strong and don't have a voice or can't defend themselves, and hopefully this gives them some proof and inspiration that you can stick up for yourself. You can fight back yes. if it's something that's happening in the Me Too movement or Time's Up movement or just at home getting bullied. I think that mm -hmm. all the young girls and boys out there should feel that um, to understand their worth and to really stick up for themselves and feel empowered. Very well said, you too. Oh, I, I know I keep saying last question, but one last question. Since it's the holidays, how do you guys celebrate Christmas? What are you going to do this year? Maybe, uh, or, or what is a holiday tradition that you guys both have that you, that you do each and every holiday Ooh. season? Ooh, we have a big, our family has a big lobster dinner. So my dad mm -hmm. used to work for a company and we used to fly in lobster. So we have this big lobster feast. We actually play little Ooh. races who gets in the <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh -huh. um, of course, skiing is important to, to, to that. We come from a ski family. And I'm Ukrainian, so we have Ukrainian, we celebrate both English and also Ooh. the old calendar, Ukrainian Christmas, um, mm -hmm. which is different traditions. We throw up wheat and honey up in the ceiling to see if it sticks, and if it does, it means that you have a whole year of good luck. And I was always wondering, she does that like when we're on set, she just starts throwing weed and honey up. And I always wondered what that was about. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. What do you do for Christmas? You have a good My, my family, like we have, yeah, we, Christmas is my favorite holiday. So yeah. everybody gets together. And, and uh, last year we had Travis come for Christmas too, who, oh, yeah. played, who played my father on the show, who we're really close oh. with. So he stayed and spent, spent Christmas with us. And we go up to Whistler, which is like a, uh, we have this like ca a cabin up in the mountains there. And uh, we spent every Christmas. But this year I rented out a cabin in the middle of British Columbia uh, mm -hmm. for my girlfriend's family. And we're all going to, oh. and so I'm going to spend Christmas with her family, which I'm really excited about because nice. it's actually going to be the yeah. first time I haven't spent Christmas with my family. Wow. I know. So it's a Aww. big deal. Uh, wow. And yeah, and uh, uh. it'll be really nice to, to be able to do that too. Oh, I love it, you guys. Well, they're giving me the wrap up, so I have to let you guys go. This has been so much fun. They know I'll talk you guys to death. Uh huh. Yeah, that's right. So, you, yeah. Vikings, the sixth and final season, is the two hour premiere. Premieres Wednesday, December the 4th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Pacific Standard Time, only on the History Channel. Thank you, Alexander and Catherine, Thanks, for joining Noah. me. It was a lot of fun. I love this so much. Cheers, brother. Ho, ho, ho. You guys take care. Have a good holiday. Bye. Thanks, you too.